Hello everybody, Ian Robson here for another edition of the All-American Map. <laughs> I should say, the All-American Farm, not Map. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've got a couple things going on today. Uh, quick little random note. Uh, let's take a little cruise here. So, I was randomly testing stuff off camera, and I discovered I can fertilize all of this field, uh, minus this little area right here. Uh, without actually owning it. So that leads me to believe I could actually plant this field. I'm not a, I'm sure I could plant it. I'm just not sure what would happen after I planted it, whether I'd be able to um, to actually use it more than once. Because what tends to happen is in situations like this where you can plant it, you may not be able, you may be able to do it once, but not twice or thrice for those people who uh, get that thrice comment. It means three, that's what it boils down to. An old version, old English, if memory serves. Once, twice, thrice. It means one, two, three, basically. Anyhow, that's enough of a grammar lesson, or I guess vocabulary lesson. Anyhow, I got this field planted as potatoes. Uh, so it's currently planted. There's little tiny bits missing, missing right there. Uh, but nothing to fret about. Uh, it's practically all planted at the moment. And what else did I do off camera? If we come over down to this field right here, uh, this field is currently uh, ready to be harvested. And I was, oh no, it's not yet. My bad, I lied. I thought it was ready to be harvested. I think what happened is this morning I uh, accelerated time and uh, to test something out. And uh, that's why the fence is right there, actually. Uh, so I got the fence hooked up to the hay this haybine thing. This is not easy to use at all. Um, mainly the front half, actually. The back half of this is really easy to use. Um, it's just a question of lowering it down and going. But the front half, it's a little bit trickier and it's kind of annoying. So what I might do is I might change this. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Got a frog in my throat there. Um, I might change this to uh, one of the tarot mowers just because it does not work as nicely as I would like. But I would keep these ones. Uh, but as you can see, this isn't quite ready yet. Alright, so I got this field. It hasn't been planted yet, so I'm going to go ahead and plant this field right now. Uh, there is a great demand coming up for barley. And I need to get out of this tractor so I can do this. Uh, where is it here? Barley and wheat in one day and two days for wheat. Uh, let me tell you a funny story. So I was harvesting off camera. And I think I ended up walking away from here and watching a show with my girlfriend. And I totally, totally missed the great demand for canola. Which kind of makes me sad because that was a crazy good price for the canola. Uh, so unfortunately I did miss the great demand. So we can still sell the canola. I think we will do that anyways. Uh, but unfortunately it is not going to go well. Uh, so I have the homemade tractor right here. Uh, pulling the John Deere... Um, cedar and uh, this guy actually works really well with this thing I don't know why uh, he doesn't do the backing up thing which is really strange because all the other ones did anyhow uh, so let's set this guy to 14.5 and is he on barley he is good let's let him let him rock uh, where is this guy I actually had a weird little situation happen that that cedar that I was using um, it wouldn't let me see. I'm not sure the reason behind it, actually. It just wouldn't work properly for whatever reason. So every single time I went to go plant, it would just bug out. Uh, that other articulating one, I don't know why it was doing it either. It really threw me off. Um, and it was rather annoying, actually. So I uh, I sold it because it just wasn't working. And I needed the money anyways because we were running a bit low on funds at that time. All right, so we also have the... Peterbilt here. Um, <clears throat> somebody made an interesting comment about this Peterbilt. I'm just going to reflect on this particular thing. I think it was Jared, I want to say. Uh, maybe Anders. I can't remember. One of those guys. Anyways, what they were commenting on was the fact that um, this does not have any collision detection. Uh, so what happens is, because you don't have any collision detection, detection uh, you run into other vehicles like there's no tomorrow. So if I have this guy running and the other Peterbilt 379 over there running at the same time, they will collide with each other and it's not fun. 
let's just accelerate time just a wee bit there. Anyhow, so yeah, um, doesn't work out very well when you have two vehicles going on the same route. Yeah, discover that the hard way. Um, this track, this truck, just, it's a really awesome truck, but that's the one thing I don't like about it. Anyways, so let's go take a quick peek as to where the best place to sell canola is. I believe I already have it outlined. Let's see here. I believe it's the inn. Farm shop? No. Freight yard? No. Inn. It is the inn. Uh, funny little story. Let me just set this guy on his way and we'll go for a little ride with him. <clears throat> there it is. Thought I already set it up. Let's just go for a little ride. So, I was setting up a course for the freight yard. And I was like, all right, this is cool, whatever. And, you know, you know, not setting up a course is not difficult by any means, but I ran into this really strange problem. Um, the trigger for the freight yard was just a wee bit small. Um, and by a wee bit, I mean like, you had to like, basically scrape the cars in order to uh, get the tip trigger to work with course play little unfortunate in that regards um, kind of made me sad let's turn the lights on looks way better on the inside with it uh, so I actually made the trigger uh, a lot bigger <laughs> so it wouldn't be a problem when I had to go use course play in order to drop stuff off so I made it a lot bigger uh, and that's where the great demand was that's why I originally did that however I missed the great demand because I just got lost track of time basically um, so we're going to go ahead and sell the canola at the inn for the time being. And, yeah, we're going to do that. We don't quite have silage or grass yet or TMR for our cows, even though we have 150 cows. Uh, that's something we are working on. So watch this. This guy should probably just run straight through this car. Oh, well, he missed it completely. But notice how he didn't slow down at all. Like, normally what would happen is... Uh, the truck, a truck would slow down when it saw the car there, but this would just drive straight through it, which is kind of funny to watch um, on the one hand, but on the other hand, not so cool. Anyhow. Uh, in other random news, I got in contact with the creator of the map, and I asked him if he would allow me to post an, an edited copy of his map, and he agreed. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I, I said I would only upload it to American Eagle Modding, so that's where it's going to be. Uh, so if you want the download, that's where it'll be. Hopefully by the time this go li goes live, you will be able to get it. Um, the one thing I'm not sure about, uh, what would be a good tracker? Uh, the one thing I'm not sure about is about this building right here. The I haven't gotten in contact with the creator of the other map yet who made who had this building on his map. Uh, but I'll see what I can do. I think he's on the FSUK forums. And I don't know where he got it from, so I'll have to see what I can do about that. Otherwise, if I can't get in contact with him, maybe I'll just take this building out or something, and then we'll go from there. Uh, but as of right now, the guy gave me... Uh, he gave me... He gave me the good word. I'm not sure I'm looking for. There is a word I'm looking for. He gave me the good, the nod. There we go. He said, "Yeah, go ahead. Not a problem." Uh, he said, "As long as I, as long as I mention it as version two or upload it as version two, he had no problems, which is cool." So uh, I probably won't upload it today. Maybe in a day or two uh, from the time of recording this. And the main reason behind that is, wow, we got like 120,000. That's not even on great demand. Whoa, a little less than 120,000. Anyways, so the one thing I noticed about the Merit trailer is that when I do this, um, it does like a weird like zoom in, but this trailer doesn't do it. Hmm, that's weird. I don't know why. Alright. So, um, what I was thinking is, we got this guy. Uh, what I was thinking is potentially getting another cedar or replacing this small cedar with a larger one. Uh, although that does run into a specific problem, because the one I was thinking about, um, we could only get in certain situations. Uh, let's just see, what cedars do we have available? We could get the Burgo uh, again. Let's just see, I think I have some other options. I honest, I keep, I always look for bigger cedars, and there's some out there, and they're okay. Uh, that's the problem I run into, is that they're only okay. They're not like, whoa, I need to get this. They're just like, eh, it's okay. Even this one right here is kind of like, it's not amazing, it works. Um, but it's definitely not amazing, not by a long shot. 
So I was thinking about what we could get, and we don't have that many options, actually. We have. We could get another one of these John Deere's, I suppose. It's not very exciting, though. We could get the Case IH. Uh, this is a 12-meter drill. Frill? Air frill? I didn't notice that before. I thought it said drill. Uh, or we could get the Bruegel. Um, or maybe the Amazon Condor, but that's not really American, I don't think. Uh, Bruegel, I've actually seen pictures of Bruegel. Um, that's weird, spelt differently here and here. Just noticed that. Huh, strange. Uh, so that's one of the options. We could always get the... Where is it here? We could always get this guy right here, uh, which is Duke's one. And that one will only work with the John Deere I have of his. Uh, although I, he did, he did make cases, a couple big cases for this tractor or this specifically because this is a super heavy implement. So, and this one I believe is 22 meters wide. So it's about the same width as the Burgo. So maybe I won't do that because then I have to fiddle around with that. Uh, this is the one we had last time. Uh, there's this option and what I would probably do is I probably wouldn't go the anhydrous tank route on this again just because um, we have other capabilities of putting fertilizer on actually there's been some interesting posts lately um, I haven't done any farming at all I've just been chatting oh, I'm sorry guys uh, let's go back to the truck and watch him um, I read an interesting post the other day about um, side dressing corn I don't know much about side dressing corn to be honest with you um, and that's primarily because I prob probably because my in-laws aren't uh, corn farmers so they don't grow any corn at all uh, so I'm pretty sure that's the reason why I don't know anything about corn so just adjust my microphone apparently there we go uh, yeah they don't I don't they don't do any corn at all so that's probably the reason why I really don't know anything about it so that's my guess at least all right, so we need to get another cedar. Should we get the Burgo or should we go for something else? Uh, ideally, I'd like to have something that matches my New Holland, but I don't have anything that matches my New Holland. Um, and I don't have any cases that would even... Actually, you know what we could do? Hmm, that's a thought. Sorry, I just had a random, like, whoa, we could totally do that. All right, so... Let's go back to the shop. So I could do this. I could get, uh, oh, that's red too. Well, I could get the Burgo, this Burgo right here, which is actually red, and then get a case, one of the cases I haven't gotten before. Uh, one of the, the big, uh, big guys right here, maybe. 260, this is a case of dualies. This is with triples. I don't like the triple one. Oh, I can go with row crops. And that one looks kind of funny. It does make sense why you need it, but I just don't like the way it looks. That's just my personal opinion. Or this is the one we had last season, actually, uh, which is 669. So we could do that, actually. That's a possibility, I suppose. And at least it would match. Um, I think for now we'll just get the uh, we'll just get the cedar uh, because we do need a bigger cedar by all means. All right, let's get. I think this is the one we had last session, last session, last time. There, let's get that. Ah, uh, there we go. And I know that one works. It doesn't doesn't get all funky on me, so that'll be nice. Um, so let's go ahead and get that dropped off. Uh, well, that tractor's a wee bit too small to do anything with that. All right, so let's hop into this guy right here. Uh, actually, no way I should do first is I'm gonna go ahead and assume I own all of this field in the bottom right and the bottom, top left hand. I guess the uh, in the bottom. Right here. I'm going to assume I own all of that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is going to go ahead and make an outline of the field right now. Let's put the dualies back on. I don't know why I'd like the dualies on this tractor. Don't ask me why, but I do. So, this farm is getting pretty big pretty fast. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I think the reason being, of course, in this scenario is because we were playing on... Ugh, he's going in circles, really? Just my luck. Um, I think the reason being is because we're on normal and we're getting a a lot a lot a lot a lot of uh, material or yield I should say so are you gonna do it this time let's see there you go don't know why I was being silly before excellent 
Oh, he's even going to take the last little piece out there. Sweet. Alright, let's turn him down. I think he was on... 7 km, seven miles an hour, sure. That sounds about right. Oh, uh, where's this guy? Oh, he's not in the group anymore. I forgot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, assume we own this field, and we'll see what happens, actually. I'm going to plant it as corn and make it into silage, I think. Uh, which means we do need a silage... Um, we do need a silage for or forge harvester, if that's the case. So uh, We could get the Kloss Jaguar again, which I really like, so I think I will do that. Uh, it's a flat map, so I don't think it will... Um, I don't think it'll matter which of the Kloss Jaguars I get, but it uh, it'll definitely... I think... I don't think it'll make a difference. Alright. Let's just start recording the course. So, for those people who have no idea how, what I'm doing, I'm just making an outline of the co uh, of the course. An outline of the field, basically. So that when I go to use course play, um, it's not a problem. Oh, you can move it like that. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, so when I go to use course play, I can use it and have the outline of the field properly outlined. So... That's the reason behind this, what I'm doing right now. Anyhow, uh, Dylan made it left an interesting comment in the last episode saying you can actually use Auto Tractor to mow grass, which I thought was kind of interesting actually. Uh, I didn't realize you could do that, which is pretty cool that you can, so that's good to know. Apparently, all you need to do is make an outline of the, uh, the field, which is kind of cool, so I'm not sure how to do that with Auto Tractor, but I guess he means an outline of the. The mown grass, I suppose. Uh, Connor leaves a comment saying, Other great vid as always. I think he's trying to say another, but he said other great video. Alright. Kiss Rule says, As you, he has found many problems on the map. And... Like tip points not being in the right place. The sell point for the eggs. Uh, this... The tip point and a place to sell the eggs and field are the biggest problems. The fields are the biggest problems. And I agree with you, Kiss. Or Kiss Rules or Mr. Rules or however you want to be addressed. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, there are lots of problems. And lots of them I've addressed already. The one thing I haven't addressed yet is the... Um, the one thing I haven't addressed yet is where the egg sell point is. I actually have no idea where it is. I just kept keep collecting eggs and I have... I haven't really gotten that far yet as to where the actual uh, sell point is. And if there isn't a sell point, that's something I'm going to have to address when I release the uh, when I release my version of the map here. Uh, Tubby says I should use the T9 on the Cedar. And the front loader I says I should use the Bobcat. And the Cane Trailer. And the Chevy 3500. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Tubby. The Chevy 3500 is not a very good mod, and uh, that's the reason why I don't use it. Uh, if it were a good mod, I would totally use it. Uh, it'd, be, it'd add a nice variation to the Ford F-350s that we always seem to have, so. But alas, my friend, that 3500 is not as solid as the uh, as a Ford F-350. There's another big reason why I don't use it, and that is because uh, it doesn't have a fuel tank on Alright, what did Anders say here? I can't read and drive at the same time right now. Off the finish. It's a long comment, that's why I can't do it both at the same time. Uh, actually, I did make some changes to the map as well since last time. Did, uh, did I. I think I changed it. I'll have to check in a second. I'm not sure what to call this field because it's not really a numbered field. It's just up there in the corner, so maybe I should call it F and E, so for field north, east, no, northeast, northwest, what am I saying? Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, perfect. Stop recording the course. F, northwest, outline. If I knew the name, I would, uh, I would do that. I would actually name it the proper field number, but I have no idea what the number is, so... All right, so that's good. We've named that. Let's hop into the T9 here and uh, just drop the neutral tiller there. And we should probably fuel this guy first, actually. Ah, uh, 
so nice. I I, got, I finally got rid of the. Uh, I finally got rid of the sound uh, from this tractor that it makes when you uh, when it's not st uh, started. Like if I turn it off right now, it's quiet. But it never used to be like that. There was actually uh, a problem with it that would have this really annoying sound. And uh, someone left a comment, and thank you so much for that once again. Uh, that makes my life a lot better because now when I get into it, there's no like buzzing sound or beeping sound or anything. That was one of the original reasons why I didn't want to use this tractor. Uh, I didn't like using it previously. Um, or I think I just disregarded it completely was because of that mod or that particular thing. So, uh, da, 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 da. Anders asked, Anders is the one who suggested going to the field and just testing to see whether it worked. I actually tried it. Like it was funny because he left the comment and then like, the day at or the day after he left the comment, but the day before I actually uh, tried it to see if it would work or not. Uh, Bacon Place says I should get the John Deere DB9. It's a 32 or 48 planter, 48 row planter. Wow, that thing takes a lot of fuel. Jeez. Um, maybe in the future. Uh, Mr. Van Bruggen says great episode. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Peter asks me if I can buy the 2007 Peterbilt 379. I don't know what he was, which one he's talking about. Maybe it's a mod I don't have yet, which is entirely possible. I have so many Peterbilts, it's just ridiculous. 2007. Um, let's see. Let's just take a look what he's talking about here. That's the International. That's not a very good mod. I didn't like it very much. It's not in the mod list. Uh, if you really want it, it's in. It's on American Eagle modding. I don't know why I, keep, I still have it, but anyways, uh, no, that's not a three two thousand seven. No, that's not one either. Those are Kenworths. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe it's a mod I haven't downloaded. That's my guess, at least. Well, you know what we can do. We can put uh, twins, twin wheels. Let's do twin wheels, not two. Uh, if we're gonna plant corn, I guess we could use twin row crops. See, that's what the truck does, um, because there's no collision on, on that truck; it just runs into things. Urgh. Oh man, that's what happens when, and he is definitely stuck there. Wow. Okay, well. Uh, I guess I can't just <laughs> yeah so that's what happens when something is in its way it just runs right into it, it doesn't stop or anything uh, which is a bit unfortunate actually all right all right but it's doing a good job so uh, let's put it back into the group it's supposed to be in there we go and it was selling canola to the inn where is it here sell canola in there we go we're at three hundred seventy-two thousand dollars already, which is pretty good. We actually could probably not buy another field soon, actually. All right, let's just line this guy up here. Drive near is perfect. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and buy the twin re wheels for this guy here. Thought that my game was gonna freeze there for a second. That would not have been cool. Twin wheels. Twin row crops or twin regular tires. Uh, we're going to be planting corn, so I guess we could do row crops. I don't... Oh, we already bought it. Let's reset it then. I don't think I've actually put row crops on this. I like the flotation tires that it's on right that have that are on here right now, but ah, uh, more of these crates. Uh, let's see. I have no idea how to do this. I'm sure it's like one button. Assemble wheels. So silly. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever, that's cool. Alright, so let's get this guy. That looks silly. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, this, these air brakes out here making me laugh a little bit, too. Alright, let's get some seed. So, we're gonna do this up here in corn. And I keep going past corn for no apparent reason. There we go. 
no, doesn't like, oh, this is the one with that weird, Ugh. Pretty sure you can fill this up with corn, just saying. One of the problems I discovered with this thing, you should be able to fill that up now, like, really should be able to. Unfold. No, I don't want to unfold, I just want to refill it. That's pretty darn close. Maybe if I try again on the other side here. This is always a problem, and um, not the big problem, but it's just one of the things you're into when you uh, put placeables down. Like, they don't... Um, really? Come on now. This was the one thing that really didn't like... I forgot about that. Really didn't like being filled from um, those types of things. I hope I don't have to, but I... I have a feeling this might be the only way to actually fill this, is to do what I'm doing right now, is to drive through here. And if I can't fill it from here, I would be extremely surprised. Yeah, there it is. Good. Alright, what else do we got? Honestly, this is what Zippy says. Zippy Flip says, honestly, I'm not impressed with this map. And I asked him why, and I can, I can only assume it's because a lot of the changes and the updates I've had to make... Uh, Deidre says I should get a John, uh, John Deere, says I should get a case combine. That's funny. He said, I'm, re I'm reading it as I, I should get, he she says I should get a case combine and I say John Deere. That's terrible. Oh, man. <clears throat> he also says I should get the 43, uh, 4730 sprayer. I do not know that one specifically, so I'll have to look that one up. Uh, this is, let's do 20, oops, other way. 21 meters. Uh, yes. And let's do the northeast heading west. Uh, return to first point. Yes. The only reason I'm saying return to first point is if I do any kind of course where it comes back and he does, he comes back to the start point and then he needs to like refill or something, it'll be closer. And deactivated, we want a headland, so let's say after. There we go. And I can always set it up again, it's not a big deal. The biggest problem with these types of things is that you have to, uh, is that you have to, you know what, um, you have to line it up correctly, especially with articulated tractors, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but they really don't like being set up in a different way. Anyways, that's all the comments we have from the last episode. My phone's gonna die. It's at 1% anyways, so. See, look, I was perfectly lined up there and he still didn't like that. Jeez. Can't believe this guy. All right, let's see if it does this time. And go. Nope. Fine, how about this way? There we go. Jeez. Don't know why I didn't want to start. I probably wasn't close enough or something, so. Uh, we're going to use this as a straight seater without the uh, anhydrous tank on the back. Anhydrous. I kept saying anhydrous. Oh, it does. I thought it was going to work there for a second. Whoa, slow down there. Well, that's not so bad, I guess. We can leave that as 10, uh, 10 miles an hour. Actually, not really. But actually, the new John Deere uh, they released not too long ago does seat at 10 miles an hour. As a quick little, uh, quick little random side thought. Anyhow, I think I'm gonna stop the episode there for now. Uh, what I'll do off screen is I really meant to get the grass cut of this episode, but I uh, haven't planted all the fields yet, unfortunately. How's this guy doing? I didn't even check on this guy. He's getting there. He's done. Wow, three passes. That's it. I would have thought he would got a lot more than that done. Uh, I think what's happened is he's had to go back and forth to get more seed quite often, so you can see how low he is in fuel. That's probably what the, the problem is. Let's just boost him up to 10 miles an hour as well. So I don't have to wait hours for that to get done. And this guy is doing corn. Good. <clears throat> Anyways, like I said, I'm going to stop the episode there for now, folks. We'll see how this how this field ends up. Uh, yeah. And we'll buy the four harvester, I think, next episode is what we'll do. Anyways, that's it for today, folks. My name's Ian Rops. It's been Farming Simulator 2013 coming at you from the All-American Farm. Catch you guys later.